okay on this video tutorial we are going to see how to export xyz coordinates from google earth using uh, google earth itself and global mapper therefore let's get started open google earth and locate your project area this is uh, project my project area that i'm going to show you how to export xyz coordinates from therefore You have to locate your own project area first before trying to do this on your own. Now let's get started. First, the first step is to add the points where you want the coordinates and the elevation from. Therefore, add click on this dog that says add path. Uh, you have to name it, name it as you want. But my mine is I'm going to call it project area project area now move this aside and start locating those points you want to add XYZ coordinates from therefore this is my project area I'm going to start here these are the spots where the XYZ coordinates and the the X the Y and the elevation is going to be formed make sure not to add these points on the building since they are going to make our surface and surface are made based on elevations Uh, congesting these points will uh, help you get more uh, accurate surface so that's why I'm, I'm doing this over here I think this is congested enough no, not that much uh do this to you the limits of your project area more points means more accurate more precise and make sure not to add points on the top of building elevation so for like this we have to delete them when we build the surface now i have added my pass then click ok over here this is my path that is going to have my XYZ coordinates from I'm going to I'm going to save this save a place as desktop okay, this is the path I'm going to save project area save yes okay now I have my project area saved over here I'm going to open this using global mapper first open global mapper then import the project area that you have made right now this is a global mapper interface now open data files click on open data files and find the path that you have just saved the project area is my file name so click open this is the path that i just made it's, I'm sure this makes no sense now, but when you export it, it will make much more sense. So, this is my project area. I'm going to export now. Go to setting over here, setting, then go to projections. Projections the projection for this location is UTM, UTM, the zone is. Uh, 37 36 is 42 degree east northern hemisphere the datum is WGS 84 but but this is for my project area for your project you have to find this projection zone data and etc from Google you can just type your project area name and you can get that click apply then click OK now 
I have fixed my projection. Now I can download the elevation from online. Go to connect to online data. Click over here. That looks like a map. So click on it. That's online data. Now choose ASTR GDEM version to worldwide elevation data. Now connect. Now I have downloaded my the data that I want. So I'm going to export this now. Go to far click on export elevation grid format. Now choose the file format you want to export with. I'm choosing XYZ grid. So click OK. Mm, uh, this is the setting that uh, your file will look like. So make sure to use your for example this is coordinate separator the, uh, if i use comma here it will be comma delimited if i use space it will be space delimited if i use here tab it will be tab delimited so this is how your file will look like after exporting therefore i am choosing comma vertical units is in meter we, uh, since uh, we use metric units in our country you could use imperial feet anything you want here so we have fixed our uh, setting then click ok now it will ask you the path you want to save i'm saving it on desktop the xyz file name is uh, surface click save now minimize and find the data that is surface this is here we have here uh, when you get this file you will have something like a file that doesn't have any material to open with like a program won't open this file click right click on it then open with choose keep using notepad or use notepad therefore this is a file i have now therefore i have a space delimiter file man no no way uh, comma delimiter this is a file i have now uh, we could export this to excel and edit whatever that is to edit then we can build our surface from this surface from this uh, data thank you for watching on the next video i will edit this file and uh, make a surface using it so thank you for today